Hi, Mr. Richards here, and today we are going to talk about how to add integers. Now, when adding integers, you can look at the problem and determine, am I adding the same sign or am I adding different signs? Well, when we're adding integers with the same sign, we add their absolute values and their sum is positive if both integers are positive or negative if both integers are negative. So, when I have just 7 plus 4, we've seen that for a long time. 7 plus 4 is just 11. But if I have negative 7 plus negative 4, that too, we can go 7 plus 4 is 11, but keep it negative. 7 plus 4 were both positive, ending in a positive answer. Negative 7 plus negative 4 were both negative, so add them and keep your answer negative. Let's look to see how this looks in a couple of examples. In our first example, we have negative 5 plus negative 7. Now, you may have done some work with counters where you go, all right, I have negative 5 and I have negative 7. And so I have a total counters of negative 12. Or... The better way now to do this is go, okay, negative 5 and negative 7, those are both negative. I have the same sign. So all you can really do is, go, okay, what is 5 plus 7? Well, 5 plus 7 is 12, and both are negative, so that's going to be a negative 12. The counters, that helps us understand why it's negative 12. But now we can move forward and go, okay, if I have the same sign, just add and keep the sign. What about negative 10 plus negative 4? Well, add in your head 10 plus 4, and 10 plus 4 is 14, and I have again the same sign, so I can keep that negative 14. What about negative 14 plus negative 16? Well, once again, same sign. Both are negative, and I'm adding. So in your head, or if you need to write it down, 14 plus 16, well, that is 30. And since both signs are negative, we can keep it a negative 30. So whether both are positive and get a positive answer, or both are negative and add to get a negative, that's what we can do when we have integers with the same sign. What, though, if they're different signs? Well, when they're different signs, we're actually going to do something a little bit strange. We're going to subtract their absolute values. And their sum is positive if the positive integer's absolute value is greater, and negative if the negative integer's absolute value is greater. So we have 9 plus negative 4. Well, Think about this. If I have the absolute value of 9 and I have the absolute value of negative 4, this is 9, this is 4, which absolute value is bigger? Well, the positive. Then just go 9 minus 4 is 5. And since the absolute value of 9, which is the positive, is bigger, keep this answer positive. When we compare that to negative 9 plus 4, well, if I have the absolute value of negative 9 and I have the absolute value of 4, again, the absolute value of negative 9 is 4, the absolute value of 4 is 4, this time the negative absolute value is bigger. We're still going to subtract 9 minus 4 to get 5, but since the absolute value of the negative was bigger, that's just going to be a negative 5. Let's go on to some more examples. 6 plus negative 7. Well, think about their absolute values. Our 6 is, the absolute value is 6. The absolute value of negative 7 is 7. So the absolute value is bigger with the negative number, meaning I'm going to have a different answer. Well, for this, what is 7 minus 6? Well, that's 1. Remember, our answer is going to be negative here. So my answer is negative 1. What about negative 15 plus 19? Well, look at those absolute values, 15 and 19. Well, 
the absolute value of 19 is bigger, so my answer is going to be positive. Now, subtract. 19 minus 15 is 4. And my answer is going to be positive this time, so 4. So what to look for? Okay, I'm adding integers here. 6 and negative 7, those are different signs. The negative 7 has the absolute value of being larger, so my answer is going to be negative. We subtracted to get the 1, but changed it to negative 1, since the absolute value of the negative was greater. Same thing in E. I have a negative added to a positive, so I have different signs. The absolute value of the positive was larger this time. 19 is bigger than 15. Subtract to get your 4, and we're going to keep the answer positive since the absolute value of the positive was greater. Now, in F, we have 10 plus negative 12. Well, think about the absolute values. I have 10 and 12, and the absolute value of 12 is larger, so my answer is going to be negative. Then subtract. 10 minus tw or 12 minus 10 is 2. And remember, the absolute value of the negative is larger, so my answer is negative 2. In my next example, I again have different signs, one positive, one negative. The absolute value of negative 13 is 13. The absolute value of 18 is 18. And this time, the positive is larger, so I'm going to have a positive answer. Now with these different signs, go ahead and subtract. 18 minus 13 is 5. My answer is going to stay positive 5 since the absolute value of 18 was larger than the absolute value of the negative 13. What about negative 14 plus negative 6 plus 6? Well, a couple of different ways to handle this. You could say negative 6 plus 6 is 0, and you're left with negative 14. That's the easy way. Now, if you just added them straight across, you would notice, okay, negative 14 and negative 6, those are the same sign. So with that one, negative 14 plus negative 6 being the same sign, just add 14 plus 6 is 20, but keep it negative, plus 6. Now, with negative 20 plus 6, I have different signs. Think about their absolute values. I have... 20 and I have 6, and the absolute value of the negative is larger, so my answer will be negative. Then subtract. 20 minus 6 is 14, but my answer is going to be negative 14. The temperature is negative 3 degrees. An hour later, it drops 6 degrees, and two hours later, it rises 4 degrees. Write an addition expression to describe the situation. Then find the sum and explain its meaning. Well, if we're dropping 6 degrees, that means we're going to add a negative 6 to this. And if we're rising 4 degrees, we're just going to add 4. We wanted an, ex an addition expression, so we have to make sure we write just with addition. Well... Now add. We have negative 3 and negative 6 first. Same signs. Just add the two numbers and keep it negative. Then plus 4. Now I have different signs. The absolute value of the negative is 9, so that's going to be larger. So our answer is going to be negative. And then if you can start doing the, these in your head, fine. 9 minus 4 is 5, and again, my answer is negative 5 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the sum. Its meaning is, well, the new temperature let's see if we can spell that right. Temperature, T-E-M-P-E-R-A-T-U R E, there we go, is negative 5 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's our explanation. You could include after how many hours, but yeah, the new temperature is negative 5 degrees. 
So in summary, when the integers have the same sign and you're adding, just add them and keep the sign. When they're different, you're kind of subtracting, but keeping the sign of the integer whose absolute value was the largest. The more you practice these, the better you will get. Good luck on practicing.